So business analytics is one of the most popular majors to study here in America right now, and we get so many questions from incoming students to learn, hey, what is this all about? Well, we're gonna be answering the most common questions, the four biggest questions that students ask about a master's in business analytics to help figure out if this is the best and right course for you guys. Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. I'm Rob and we love helping people be successful in their cross-cultural journey, especially about studying abroad. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the subject of a master's in business analytics. This is a booming subject the last few years. We're gonna be answering your four most common questions. We've got some great guests today, experts. So go ahead and introduce yourselves. Okay, so thank you for the lovely introduction, Rob. Uh, so my name is Aditi Kulkarni and uh, I started my master's in business analytics at UT Dallas in the month of fall of 2019. And uh, I just graduated last May and uh, I am very happy to say that I received my full-time job offer this June. So yeah, I am going to be the so-called senior and I will let my junior <laughs> introduce himself. Yeah. So hello guys, I am Harsh and I am from Nasik Maharashtra. So yeah, I will be joining UTD this fall and I am here for my MS in Business Analytics program. So it's really great to join the university and this program is really good. So today we are here to solve some basic doubts you are having about the program. So yeah, let's begin. So Masters in Business Analytics known as MSBA, the first big question that we get a lot about is, do you have to have a technical background? Or can people with a non-technical background or even a three years bachelor's degree do MSBA? What's the answer? Okay, so let me take this question, Rob. Uh, this is one of the most frequently asked questions. Honestly, I feel uh, tech students have an edge over the non-tech people, but the good news is I have a lot of friends in my group who are non-tech people from industries such as the hotel management, designing industry, architecture industry, who have come here to pursue their masters in business analytics. Mm -hmm. So to fill the gap, we can do some online courses, uh, which will be answered in the next question. But to fill the gap, we can have some online courses on Udemy, Coursera. And this is how you non-tech students can still have an edge over the tech students. Yeah. So like that's true because uh, you have a fear that you are from non-tech background so you won't be able to cope up with the syllabus of msba but that but that's not the case because msba is a really variable field so we have students from all the variable backgrounds in this field so yeah it is really possible to join this field May maybe you are from any background but it is really possible that you can join this field so if you have a tech background you might have a head start but all are welcome and all can really thrive in this degree so the next question, number two, is what are the basic, most helpful prerequisites or skills that people can learn before starting this degree? So yeah, for answering this question, I would first specify that I am from the technical background. So I have done my undergraduate in computer science. But what I feel is when you are coming from a non-tech background or either you are coming from a technical background. So there are few basic skills which are required. So basically they are not mandatory, but it is good that you learn that skills before coming here. So you can learn basic SQL, you can try hands on on Python, you can learn R and there are a few tools for data visualization which are Tableau and Power BI. So these are some basic tools you can just try, you can uh, do online courses like as Aditi mentioned. So there are different websites like Coursera, there's Udemy, there's Udacity and a famous one is Datacam. So you can try these different uh, portals for doing your online courses and you will be good to apply and good to come here. Yeah, so basically just don't think that you can't come here because you don't have that skills. You can learn that skills online. So, so yeah. those five tools or languages are SQL, Python, R, yeah. Tableau, Power BI. Okay. You're right. Awesome. <laughs> Go learn those guys. Yes, yes. And it might seem intimidating to start, but uh, honestly, once these softwares are installed on your desktop, it's, it's, you know, just the fear to start, but once you are installed on your desktop, it's pretty easy, guys, to start with it. Yep. The third most common question is, what's it gonna cost? So guys, tell us about tuition fees and also scholarship opportunities to get some discount. Yeah, so basically, uh, the, uh, normally students take three courses every semester. So first I'll explain the semester system. So for the degree, you, you can take four semesters, and in every semester, usually students go for three subjects. So for the three subjects, it would be cost around, costing around $18,000 at UTD. 
so it may vary from university to university but this is what i am paying for the, my current uni, like my university okay so i would like to go ahead with the scholarships part uh, harsh just mentioned about the semester fees mm -hmm. uh, okay so let me break down the scholarships umbrella it's utd under that is jsom under that is msba so i am going to talk specifically about msba which comes under the jsom umbrella that's the naveen jindal school of management right yes yep. yes okay. So Naveen Jindal School of Management is the business school of UT Dallas and we are proud students of that. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, for the incoming students, JSOM offers you just one scholarship which is the Dean's Excellence Scholarship. It's purely based on merit, your GRE and TOEFL score, uh, experiences and various other factors. So there are a lot of students who ask me, is it like one criteria on which we'll be getting the scholarships? The answer is no, it's these various parameters. Secondly, once you're done with your first year of uh, masters, when you are about to enter your second year of masters, the JSOM divides your scholarship into two parts. Like there are two different scholarships. One is the same, the Dean's Excellence Scholarship. And then the second one is the Dean's Impact Scholarship. Just FYI, I'm a Dean's Impact Scholarship holder. Okay. So once it is divided into two, the Dean's Excellence Scholarship is nothing but purely merit-based. It's for people who have a very, very nice pointer. And then the Dean's Impact Scholarship is for those people who have a good, decent pointer, as well as are contributing a lot towards the extracurricular activities for JSOM. The next common question asked to me is, uh, what are the chances of a student getting these scholarships? Again, this is a very vague question. It, it entirely depends on your merit, on your academics, on your activities, on your online presence, the ways you contribute to JSOM. So, my heads up would be just come to the college, just come to the university, be in as many activities as possible, make your presence felt by all the students as well as the faculty and this is how you're going to bag your impact scholarship. So our chai question for this video is what kind of job in analytics do you guys want to get? Go ahead and tell us in the comments which kind of role or kind of industry company that you guys want to get. What job are you looking for in analytics? Let us know. So that transitions to our next question. Number four is what are the most common job roles for people who study business analytics? So when I, when I was applying for this program, so I had in mind that I would be working as a data analyst or data scientist. So I feel that in, in masters in business analytics program, I can get into data analytics or data scientist programs. And what do you think, Aditi, on this? Okay, so before going ahead, uh, I just want to mention that uh, I recently got hired as a business analyst at a Florida-based company. So I have been into the job search for like two years for my internships as well as full-time. My experience says that once you are um, pursuing your graduation or done with your graduation at MSBA, you have multiple options. Few of them I want to mention are data analyst and data scientist, which were mentioned by Harsh. Next is the data engineer. Then you can be a business analyst itself like, like me. And then there are various other ones like data engineer. And then the last one I want to talk specifically is about the roles which you get after taking specific electives. For example, you take a marketing elective, you can uh, apply to jobs where there are open roles for a marketing analyst or marketing analyst intern. Next, if you do your uh, electives in the finance field, you can go for financial analysis. So this is how UTD and MSBA specifically offers you more than nine tracks in which you can specialize and get your jobs in those particular fields. So many opportunities, uh, a lot of flexibility in this course, which is great. Yep. My friends, if you have learned a lot from this video, give a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Aditi and Harsh for sharing their advice, all the hard work they've done to make it easy for you guys. So be sure to check out the other videos that we're making uh, about business analytics. And we have a whole playlist for you guys about courses and different degrees that you can find here in America. Be sure to search those because there's lots of them out there. Be sure to connect with us online, on social media. You can connect with these guys on LinkedIn. Hit them up with your good questions as well if we didn't cover them in this video. And thanks so much, Aditi and Harsh, for sharing your advice for all these students. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, Rob. Rob. Definitely. Yeah, and all the best guys for once you are applying right now. So go for it. Just research about it and just apply. All the best. And trust me, I'm repeating this. It's just the fear of your first time. Just dive into it and you'll be okay. Yeah. Awesome. Everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time at Shine Coaching. Cheers. Yeah.